So the following video of this following topic is just an example of equilibrium and free body diagrams. Okay? So imagine we have the following um, simply supported beam. Ignore everything in blue for now and just visualize everything in black. So we have a pin support on the left hand side. We have a roller support on the right hand side. This is known as a simply supported beam. A simply supported beam has, um, it has a support as a pin and a roller. That's it. That's a simply supported beam. Okay? So the following simply supported beam has a length of 10 meters. So from here to here, we have 10 meters. We have a clockwise moment of 10 kilonewton meters, 4 meters from the left hand pin. Okay? So that's what we have. Um, we need to work out our reaction forces in the following example. So step one is we have to draw in the reaction forces on the free body diagram. So first off, we look at the uh, roller over here. In the previous video, we established that a roller has <coughs> a vertical restraint only, so a vertical reaction force. So a roller is, it can't move up and down since it's vertically restrained but it can move left and right so we only have one reaction force whereas a pin is restrained vertically and horizontally as you can see here so we draw a vertical and horizontal reaction force okay so after we've drawn in our reaction force we have we've established our free body diagram okay so now it's using simple calculations we can easily work out the reaction forces through the use of equilibrium provided the following structure is statically determinate it, in which it is bear in mind this course every single structure is determinate okay so we establish equilibrium we do some of